Okay, so at this time I will model dividing a fraction by a whole number, okay? I will um, divide a fraction by a whole number. Corey wants to pour three fourths of a quart, uh, quart of juice equally into six glasses. This means he needs to divide three fourths into six equal parts. You can represent the problem with an area model. First, you can show the three fourths quart of juice. So three fourths quart of juice is over here. Okay. Then you can draw vertical lines to divide the model into six equal parts. Okay, so vertical is up and down, right? And here's the six lines. Okay. So again, we have our division. Okay. And Three divided, uh, three fourths divided by six equals three. Twenty fourths equals one eighth. Okay. Three fourths quarts of juice divided equally into six glasses means Corey will pour three twenty fourths or one eighth quart of juice into each glass. Three-fourths divided by six is the same as three-fourths times six. Okay. Corey pours one-sixth of three-fourths quart of juice into each glass. Okay. So on our star test, it gives you... you have to choose which expression is equivalent, okay? The models help you visualize it, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of make a note here. Star will ask you to usually choose, but I'm not sure with the new um, testing that's coming out what it will look like. But they will have you choose which expression is equivalent. Okay. What the number line and the array models do, that's some visual thinking, okay? That helps you visualize what's happening, okay? I'm gonna put models. Um, they show visible thinking. And help you prove your answer okay I've noticed that you guys really like models this year 
That's one of the reasons that I like our notes because it goes into a little bit more details than we do in class. So we're going to use the number line to show and explain why 4 tenths divided by 2 and 4 tenths times 1 half both equal 2 tenths. Okay, so I have, oh, why is that blurry? So I have four tenths, okay, or I have tenths, really. One tenth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? And it's asking me about the four tenths. So that's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths is right here, okay? And I need to divide it into two. Okay. And there is my two tenths. Okay. And I have two groups there. So you can think of four tenths divided oops, by two as dividing four tenths into two equal parts. Okay, this is the same. As finding one half of four tenths. Because each half is one of the equal parts. Okay. And there we go.